this is 1 comma 1 to 2 comma minus 1 Okay, like this we have hmm, no after this the dot product will expand three x square y dx x cube dy. I have like this here. No, now you see that uh, the way I do mathematics, uh, sir. Why only you you are why you are doing like this the, the, this one? Uh, the, you, you look at this one. So shall we write this is x cube y? The derivative of x cube y will lead to this. If I differentiate this one, let us do one thing. Derivative of x cube y. So this should be equal to 3x square dx y plus x cube dy. Both are same. No? Th this particular the bracket term now I am replacing with this one. Now the derivative and integral will cancel out. the derivative integral will cancel out so I'll be left over with x cube y. So limits also cancel? No, the limits have to be retained. Hmm, somewhere in the bottom I'll write it. Huh? Okay, next again. How to substitute the limit here? So this will become uh, first substitute the upper limit. So 2 cube minus 1 minus of 1 cube into 1. Uh, 8, 8, minus 8, minus 1, minus 9 joule. You have to ask questions, sir. All of a sudden, you didn't integrate. You wrote integration symbol. I, 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 what you did is like, you said like these two will cancel out. You didn't integrate. Actually, uh, th there is a mathematical technique that is introduced to avoid some difficulty. What actually we are doing is look at the uh, th this particular thing. We have to really understand the concept involved here. Let me call this point as A. This has B. So A is 1 comma 1. I'll explain one one method. Okay, so that it'll, it'll be easy for you. Okay, wh why we are bringing the derivative cancel with integration? Okay, a, co a is here, two comma minus one, two comma minus one. So the the point is here. We are supposed to move the particle from here to here under action of this force. And how do this force will act? Three x square y i cap x cube j cap means at various points will be acting in different direction. Look at this one. Put x equal to zero the force will be 0. Put a, some x equal to say some distance 0 0.1 then y also put something. So at various points the force, the magnitude of force when the particle is moved from A to B, the force which is acting will be in different direction. So no question of f bar dot s bar. Am I right? Then we are moving from A to B. So where first first we are at A. So what is actually the meaning of this? This one is. So first actually will move from, I'll, I'll start from here, uh, this is the, the uh, I, uh, other way, what is actually, this is actually the correct thing, this is a mathematical technique that is introduced here. So, so how come you are replacing this with a derivative of this one, then you are cancelling this. Okay, there's a general method of integrating thing. You can see some difficulty here. That's why we brought this particular method. This is called like a partial derivative method. Later on in the maths, you are going to learn. 
Ah, no, first oh, two comma minus one. Wait, two comma minus one. Ah, it is below, no? Somewhere. I don't have place, so I'll scribble here a two comma minus one. The two comma minus one will be here. I'm going to move the. I'm going to display the particle from a to b. This one. So what is the method of integration? Is so first I will move from one comma one to two comma one. Then from there I, I, I will reach the. Two comma minus one. So th this is the what is the uh, thing? One comma one. This will be two comma one. Then I'll reach the path which is needed. Two comma minus one. So first, how I'm going to I'm going to move the object along x-axis. Then I'm going to move along y-axis. Then how do we how how we should integrate? We should integrate in this way. First, you are going to move along the x axis here then the y you bring outside then integrate x square dx then you are moving from 1 comma to 2 then you have shifted now where you are you are at intermediate point c x cube then integral dy uh, the, what should be the limit for this now keep it as it is you are not going to integrate now first we'll integrate here this will be uh, what is value of y the value of y is 1 because where you are you are here no you are integrating from a to c first you are moving from a to c from c is the intermediate point so what is the value of y y will not change no y will remain as 1 only so that substitute 1 then this will become x cube by 3 1 comma 2 keep it as it is Actually, there's a meaning. The, the, the meaning of this. So here you'll find very difficult. So like, a, why you're doing? Because that is what actually first component of force along the displacement. Then component of force along the displacement. That's the basic idea of work done is what I'm applying here. So first, we'll move, when you move from A to C, what should be the limit? Uh, y, y coordinate will not change. Only the x coordinate will change here. Now from C to B, when you move it. The x coordinate will remain same. What is the value of x coordinate? The value of x coordinate will be 2. And the y will change from 1, comma 1 to minus 1. This is dy. Or, or, or this will be, okay, you can insert for. We are getting here. Yeah, same answer will get it. Okay, th this will be a little bit, uh, this is not advisable in the books. They didn't say like this. So what they put is like a, this will be 1 comma to minus 1. Now substitute y as 1. And x you got, you integrated. So what is the value of x? You, you were at 2. You should not substitute 1. This is the meaning. Okay, now you integrate. Here, here I'll, I'll make it. I, I made some indications. Look at here. 3. So this will be x cube by 3. 1 comma. This will be 8. Solve it. You are going to get same answer. This will be a little bit difficult uh, for anybody to think like this. That as overcome by this partial derivative method. Sir, it is from 1 to minus 1. No, sir, limits. Yeah. Okay, no. So I, here, once again, I'll put in. First, you are going to move along path AC, along x-axis. Then what is the limit? The value of y will remain same. What is the value of y? Y will be 1. Then the limit of the x-coordinate will change from 1 to 2. 1 to 2, you put it. Now, where you are, you are at C now. Now, you are going to integrate. You are going to move along y-axis. Now, where you are, you are at C. What is the x-coordinate? Not 1. x equal 2. Then, you are going to move along the path Cp. Then, the y will change from 1 to minus 1. Because what is the basic idea? Force into displacement. That's what we are trying to do here. 
the method is same either either you do by this or this will get it so you should be very careful in applying the limits and also this value uh, sir y y equal to 1 because you, you are y coordinate is not changing so what is this this is for path ac this is for path bc Just practice. There's a mathematical is what we are taking advantage of all this mathematics here. There's a method. My y cancel means derivative will cancel with integration. Nothing is there. It's a technique which you have to remember now. Or else follow this method. The def def derivative of this function, when you differentiate this, 3x square dxy plus x cube dy. Product rule. This is being replaced here. You have to open eyes. Most of you are not looking screen. Huh? I, I wrote this, this particular thing. 